guys, uh, welcome to another part of Minecraft 2D. This is part 25 and in this tutorial we're gonna do two things. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our browser and we're gonna type in Twitter, twi Twitter, yeah, Twitter, like that. And you will follow this account right here. <laughs> this guy's genius. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow this account, right? Alright. Good job. Well, uh, that's just to stay up, stay up posted uh, of c upcoming tutorials, stuff like that. If you're interested uh, in that, uh, so we're gonna create a night and uh, day cycle here. So I use these two images. Uh, I will upload these on Mediafire so you can download these too. Uh, one is uh, pretty bright. This represents the day, obviously, and one is pretty dark, which represents the night. Next we gotta do is we're gonna create a group. And we're gonna call this group Wow, yeah we are gonna do group background. Then create an object and we will say background. Awesome. Uh, don't click it away. Put the depth uh, really really high as high as possible actually. I'm gonna create a creation event and let's create a dry fan first. And in the creation event we are gonna do some things. Uh, first of all we're gonna set the image speed to zero which is pretty obvious. Uh, let us go to the dry fan now and we will draw sprite and we're gonna draw our background sprite here with the sub image uh, one. This uh, represents the night view. And then we're gonna say x view, zero, view, y view, zero. And we're done. Now we're gonna copy this one. And we're gonna say ext here. And we're gonna draw our first image, our, uh, our day view. And we're gonna say one, one, zero. Uh, this is the x scale, y scale rotation. They're all zero. And we're gonna say c white. And then we are gonna say global dot alpha. So we are making the alpha variable of this sprite, sprite background sub image zero, a, a global variable. So we're gonna call that in our uh, creation event here, global alpha. And I'm gonna just, we're just gonna put it at one. But we're gonna adjust it. I'm gonna adjust it, use it using a transition of the alpha. And we're gonna put it at one. And, uh, no, we're, gonna, we're not gonna put it at one. We're gonna put it at 10. No, let's put it at one. So one is really fast and 10 is a bit slow. Uh, we're using one now, but later on I'll change it to zero. Uh, I mean ten. Wow, I'll put a zero behind the one. All right, great. Uh, next, we're gonna say time cycle is the let's say thirty. So this represents one second. Uh, the real time cycle. So actual time cycle is 20 minutes so that is 20 by 60 by 30 you can calculate that yourself and then we're gonna put an alarm zero to time cycle great so we called alarm zero and alarm zero is gonna trigger the day transition from night to day or the night transition from day to night so um, this is alarm one and in alarm one we're gonna say global alpha is higher than one, 0 0.1 then the global alpha is gonna be minus 0. Uh, zero zero five. So this is really smooth. Uh, you could say what? 
that will also work but you will have a slight um, slight bug I'm not gonna call it a bug a uh, slight visual shit which doesn't look nice shit doesn't look nice right and else um, yeah else alarm zero is gonna be the time cycle so this means as long as the global alpha variable is higher not equal as 0 0.1 then the global alpha will just decrease 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 until it is 0 0.1 if it is 0 0.1 we are gonna enable alarm 0 again uh, and this will be delayed the, as the time cycle so that this means that it could be uh, right, well right now it is only one second so that means that the, the night is one second the day is one second but the transition is uh, a bit longer so now we are gonna call in alarm one and uh, I mean This is alarm one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, change event. Alarm one. No, that doesn't work. Delete. No, got it. All right. Duplicate alarm two, and then make this one alarm one. So this is the transition to nighttime because the global alpha of our not a uh, day. The global alpha of our day sprite is decreasing so that means that the uh, darker sprite the night sprite is uh, more visual and in here we are gonna say this so this this just means exactly the opposite so let me get alarm one uh, alarm zero uh, global uh, alpha is one then alarm one is alpha friends if global that alpha is zero point one then alarm two is alpha trends so alpha trends is um, is one now but later on we'll put it at 10 and this will just enable the uh, the uh, night to day to night transition or uh, night to day transition uh, I think we're done here uh, now we're gonna create it in our world generation And we're gonna say background view y view and view x view. that looks cool so now we're gonna run it and remember the transition is going really fast uh, you can see it already it's getting darker 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 now it's night and it's gonna be day so that looks pretty cool but the blocks and our guy Steve and the items uh, are not uh, are not doing anything they're just staying the same way so we are gonna go to our shaders and we're gonna adjust something here we are gonna say that if object torch exists and also if uh, the distance to the torch is smaller or equal 
is 128. And also if the distance of the torch divided by 128 is lower than 1 minus global alpha. Then this will happen. And this will just. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. It's. It will just. Uh, make sure that the objects within the radius of the torch are brighter when the other uh, blocks around it are actually dark in night time. So we are just gonna. Uh, copy this here. And we are going to say 1 minus global alpha. So here we have the same one. 1 minus global alpha. 1 minus global alpha. Alright, so what we have created here is pretty nice. It is really nice. Uh, the doesn't work is it, it isn't fully operating so probably did something wrong here uh, let me take a look um, oh yeah of course I know what is what is wrong one. I forgot to do one thing the closest object is of course obviously object torch I mean should have things thought about that so what we get now is a nice transition and after the transition the torches and the area around it will just light up so uh, that looks pretty pretty cool but now the shaders are not uh, infecting actually the items and uh, also the shaders are not uh, affecting Steve so we still got to do that as well So let me take a look if we messed something up with the. Um, so let's go to screw graph here in a second. Let's take a look if we can actually execute it in our drive, and you could just try. But I wanna wanna be sure. I don't wanna uh, ruin our game. So I'm just gonna say screw uh, shaders here and that should work for the items but it's not gonna work for the head because we have image angle or maybe maybe it is hang on what, what did we do exactly um, image angle right here image angle there image angle here it should work yeah it should work so let's get the script shaders in here as well and also for Steve shaders and for the hand should work as well wow all right so let's uh, let's test it I'm not sure if this will work uh, well no yeah, the, we, we don't have the uh, image index of our hand anymore. That's what I was afraid of. Uh, we do have a nice transition of our entire Steve guy. But, uh, see, it's, it's, Steve is dark, pretty dark in here. But now it lights up. But we, we don't see a... We, we don't see our, our image indexes. So... So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna copy this code here and we're gonna just paste it in. And let's take a look if it will work now. Nope, not working. Oh, that is obviously because we need to change the image index. So let, let's go here. Uh, image in index 
to, I guess it's index. Replace all. Uh, let me take a look. Index, yeah, it's index. So, that's great. And we're done. See, we have a torch right there. And yeah, we can place it. And Steve lights up. So this is pretty cool. And also, the items... Whoa, what do you do? The items will light up as well. Uh, or they will be dark. See, they will be dark. Or they will, will be light. So this, guys, is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. It's a pretty long tutorial. Maybe I'll just uh, make two parts of it. I don't know. But uh, have fun with it. Um, if you have any questions, just post it in the comments. I'm sure this is pretty clear what I did here. It's not really that hard, is it? I don't think so. Uh, just with the with the head of Steve, it's, it's just some other variables. Uh, I mean, hand, the hand of Steve. Just to replace the image index here. And we created another object, our background object. Um, I'm not gonna split it into two parts because the second part will be about the moons, the stars, the sun, the clouds, so we will have a really, really good background. Stay tuned guys, uh, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.